Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom URL redirects on Shopify, also known as 301 redirects and how to prevent those 404 pages, page not found on your Shopify store. This is especially important if you recently migrated from another platform such as WordPress to Shopify so that you make sure that your URLs are up to date and current with the Shopify URL structure. So how to go about doing those URL redirects. That's going to be showing you in today's video, as well as how to do just single URL redirects, how to do them in bulk, how to import URL redirects into Shopify, and some other general SEO tips for tracking those 404 pages, uh, creating 301 redirects, and just keeping your overall site SEO friendly and good to go. So first things first, before we dive into things as well, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I do want to mention you can get signed up with Shopify at that first link down in the description box below. That's brendanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Again, you can get started with Shopify for free today. That's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Shopify dashboard. Next, to access the URL redirect section, you come over here to online store. Now this is a little bit hidden as well. Once you go over to online store, then you're going to come down here to navigation on the left hand side. Then you're going to come up here to the top right and select view URL redirects. Now currently on this test tutorial store, I don't have any URL redirects active at the moment, but this is the page that you're going to want to go to, to edit your URL redirects. So once you are on this page, you have a few different options, right? So you can choose to import URL redirects or create a URL redirect right here. And now, now if you select import URL redirects, it will bring you up with this form here where you can download a sample CSV template to see an example of the format required. Now in preparation for this video, I did download that. Now you can import import this CSV file onto Google Sheets, or if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel, you can go ahead and open that on there as well. This is how you create those bulk imports on Shopify. And it's important that you follow the Shopify URL structure, such as, as you can see here, maybe if you were on an alternative e-commerce platform prior to using Shopify, one of your example product URLs may look like this one here with example under uh, underscore product dot PHP, you're redirecting from an old format. So going from that to then the current URL, which is now products forward slash your example product. Now we're going to be diving into a few different other uh, URL redirect examples in this video here today, but it's important that you utilize the Shopify URL structure when you're going about creating your 301 redirects for Shopify. Another page as well for URL redirects from Shopify's help page as well. I will leave a link to this page in the description of this video as well. This is just showing you here that, you know, you can't redirect URLs that begin with the following prefixes on Shopify. So such as apps, application, cart, carts, orders, shop, or services. And you uh, also can't redirect URLs that use fixed Shopify paths, such as the products, products fixed Shopify path, collections, or collections forward slash all. Now, when you're going about creating your URL redirects, of course, you can import your URL redirects here. Uh, and by adding a file utilizing this bulk template here. Now, because this is a CSV or an Excel or a Google Sheets, it does mean that you can also utilize like different Excel or Google Sheet functions if you want to go and create like thousands of URL redirects in here. This is a great way to do this in bulk if you are migrating e-commerce platforms. So this is how you do it. You use their template and you add your from and to URLs right here. Now, it's also important to mention that within Shopify, this is only on a single domain name. So if you're doing this maybe from different domains, you will have to edit that in your host DNS settings if you're going to be switching different domain names. This is all just within the same domain name. So say, for example, your store is like mycookiestore.com or something, then that would be, this is all from just within the same Shopify store, all within that same singular domain name that you are doing these URL redirects. That's what Shopify supports is all just within the same 
website. Just to keep that in mind when you're creating your URL pass, it needs to be, of course, you can just do it without the domain because it's all underneath the same domain. Bear that in mind. So once you have that created, if you are doing it in bulk, then you can import that right here. Now we're just gonna be creating a singular URL redirect in this tutorial, but that is how you do it in bulk, utilizing their CSV template. You can import it right there. So that's how you go about uh, doing that. Now this is of course to prevent old links from breaking by redirecting your customers to another page. Like I mentioned before, uh, you know, if you just migrated e-commerce platforms, maybe your URLs for your collections or just your domain forward slash the collection, such as shoes or something, for example, that will create a lot of these 404 pages, page not found, that you're gonna want to make sure that you are redirecting. So we're gonna go ahead and create a URL redirect here. Now, as you can see, this is how you do it just for a singular domain, or if you just wanna do it one by one, maybe, for example, you don't have a lot of URL redirects to do on your Shopify store. So of course, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're taking the original URL that you'd like to forward your visitors from. So in this case, we're gonna be going forward slash shoes, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're redirecting to the new uh, page on your Shopify store. So in this case, we're gonna be going to forward slash collections, forward slash shoes. So because we're utilizing the Shopify URL formatting, again, forward slash collections, and then forward slash shoes. So we're going to save that redirect here. And so now you can go ahead and view your redirects as well, or go ahead and create another. So we're gonna view the redirects, as you can see here, redirecting from forward slash shoes to forward slash collections, forward slash shoes. So if we go ahead and refresh the 404 page, it will now take us to the shoes collection that we've created in our Shopify collections. Now, currently there are no products. So the URL redirect Boom, it works pretty quickly. As you can see here, it's already live on the Shopify store. So now we're redirecting that collection that used to just be our domain name .com forward slash shoes. Now it's our domain name forward slash collections forward slash shoes because of the Shopify URL structure that you have to include in your URL redirects. So now we are on the shoes collection again in that side, that shoes collection, if we go uh, over to our collections, as you can see here, we have shoes. And there's currently no products in there, but as you can see here, it now matches the Shopify URL path. Again, you cannot edit these Shopify URL paths uh, on your Shopify store. So that's important to include in your redirects is utilizing the Shopify URL formatting. Now, again, there's a few other ways you can go about doing your redirects as well. So once you've added them here, you can go ahead and create as many URL redirects as you want here uh, for your Shopify store. Again, this is important for SEO as well. Now, another way that you can go about doing this in your Shopify store, say for example, you have a blog post, something or even a page on your Shopify store that maybe you wanna edit the URL, maybe you wanna change things just for SEO purposes. So we're gonna go over to our pages section and we're gonna go over to the how to use coffee. Now this page, as you can see here, live on the store is just a basic little page. And if we go into the Shopify store settings, as you can see here, the website SEO is currently labeled as coffee usage tips. Now. That's the one that I just created for this page, this test page here, how to use coffee. Maybe we want to change that URL instead of coffee usage tips. Maybe we want to change it to how to use coffee. So Shopify will automatically create a drop down here that says create a URL redirect for coffee usage tips and then to how to use coffee. So it will then redirect it to how to use coffee as that new uh, domain. And this is or don't, as this new URL, which is super important for SEO purposes, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you create a URL redirect so that people, if they go to searching Google, then all of that either link juice from other websites linking to your site is still included uh, when people are going to your page in the search engine. Uh, or from other websites. This is also important maybe if you linked out to these pages from social media and you have that same URL with coffee usage tips, now it will redirect people to the current page, which is how to use coffee. So all you have to do is click save and we'll automatically create a URL redirect that will show up in your Shopify stores URL redirect section under your navigation, as you can see here. So you can see it's redirected from coffee usage tips 
over to how to use coffee. This is the new URL. So this is super important to help prevent those 404 pages on your Shopify store. You can go ahead and create as many URL redirects in here as you want. You can also import and export your URL redirects. Now to help improve your SEO and to find more 301 redirect opportunities or 404 pages, I would definitely recommend utilizing Google Search Console. Maybe if you're a beginner to SEO, definitely worth utilizing Google Search Console because they will help notify you and get alerted on issues on your Shopify store. Say if you're maybe brand new to SEO, you don't already know about Google Search Console, definitely I would recommend utilizing that on your Shopify store. Another tool that you could use to help track your 301 redirects and 404 pages if you have problems, maybe you just migrated e-commerce platforms. I would also recommend using Ahrefs. Again, none of these tools are, this is not sponsored. This is just tools that I personally use and would recommend for uh, tracking your SEO and improving your Shopify store's SEO and tracking those 301 redirects. You can also do site audits within Ahrefs. Uh, I believe they do have a free version that you can do for free on Ahrefs as well uh, to help track those on your site, say if you maybe have a lot of pages. Now, if you do have a ton, a ton of pages, maybe you're a little bit more advanced and you're going to be migrating 500 old URLs, then to help with that bulk process, on doing the template here, like I showed you how to get access to on Shopify. I would definitely recommend checking out Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog does have a free and paid version where you can crawl your site and check all of those different URLs. It'll also help you check for 301s or 404 pages uh, as well. Again, 301 is just moving that URL from the old URL to its permanent new location. And the 404 is to prevent those dead pages on your site. So I would definitely recommend checking out Screaming Frog as well to help with this process. Um, all you have to do is utilize that. You, there's tons of different tutorials online on Screaming Frog. You can utilize that to help search and find the pages to put into your Google Sheet, which then you can import into your Shopify store utilizing their import function. So that's how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. You're going from old to new but that's how you can help track it. So I hope you found uh, these different other tools are very useful for completing this process as well. If you have a few more than just a couple um, pages on your Shopify store. So that's how you do it. That is all the different ways to do 301 redirects within Shopify. It's super important to keep your SEO good on your Shopify store, especially if you just migrated from another e-commerce platform and you have all these old URLs that you need to update to Shopify's URL paths. Again, guys, I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Guys, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We can get started with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful and that is all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.